Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful new year, the new star of 2020. And my name is Pretty Reads. This is going to be my very first YouTube video, and it's going to be mostly about book reviews that I want to do for my New Year's resolution into the new year of 2020. So if you don't mind, just to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, just to grow it and everything like that, it will be um it will be really huge for me to you know start a booktube and for it to grow and flourish for me to do more reviews. So. Without further ado, I am going to introduce the books that I do plan on reading for this month in January. Well, technically it's um, December 31st. By the time I upload this video, it might just be January 1st, but we'll see. So the books that I do want to introduce to you is going to be my, my um, the book that I'm reading now is going to be from James Dashner, and he made the, um, the Fever Code. And if you guys are not familiar with this author, he author. If you aren't familiar with this author, he has made um, quite a few books. Um, the Maze Runner being one, and I've actually really enjoyed the movies of The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, Death Cure, and then The Kill Order is also a new one. I think it's, I think all of these are in chronological order, be, this being the first book. And um, since I'm already reading it, um, so far I like it, but I'm only on like page five. And um, it's kind of just drawing me in ever since the movies, like me watching it since um, I think the movies came out in 2017, I think. But I think this is going to be a really good book. So my next book is going to be um, in upcoming 2020. It's going to be Bird Box. And I did hear really good reviews about this book on um, another YouTuber that I do watch. Her name is Gabby Reads. You can just check out her channel. The link will be above in the, um, or below in the description box. Um, Burr Box is, I've also seen the movie on Netflix. And it says here it's a Netflix series. Um, well, not a series, but it's a film. And the author is Josh Mal Malmren? Mal Malmren? Sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, but um, it's like Bird Box. If you haven't, if you're not familiar with the film on Netflix, it's um, it stars Sandra Bullock, and um, it's about like I don't know what it is that they're running from, but um, Bird Box, you actually can't see what is actually going on. It's kind of like an apocalypse type of scene, um. Like I said, I don't know what it is that they're not supposed to look at, but whatever this thing is, if they were to open their eyes and kind of see out into the world, it kind of like um, takes control of their being and makes them into a completely different person. And um, it kind of like takes control of your mind. Like it, you're no longer yourself. Whatever you've seen is kind of like it's taking over your body. If you ever seen the movie um, The Host, that's kind of it's kind of like like that it's not the same author they're two different people but i i kind of think that way of kind of how to explain it sorry if i'm not explaining that correctly but um yeah this is going to be another book that i do want to read in january so another book that i am considering of reading is the cabin at the end of the world i also got um i also would recommended this book not personally but i just figured it was going to be a good book read by Gab gabby reads and again her um her channel is going to be looked in the description box or in the link above and um can't really describe much about this book because this is going to be a book that i do eventually want to make a book review on i have not read it yet but i am super super excited to make this a part of my collection when i see it when i saw it i picked it up it was a buy one get one 50 percent off and this was one of them and um Another book that I am super excited that I picked up and I found at the Goodwill is The Passengers. Now, The Passengers was also recommended by Gabby Reads, and um, she has read at least over a hundred books in an entire year. And I, I probably wouldn't be able to read at least a hundred dollars, a uh, hundred dollars, a hundred books in a year. But I mean, that's a goal that I can keep in mind for 2020. But um, The Passengers, the book is from John Mayers. And just a little description because I haven't, again, I have not read these books yet. These are books that I do plan on reading in January so then I can make a book review at the end of the month. But I'm just going to read the back of these books um, after I'm kind of like done showing you the, um, the titles of them. And um, the next book that I also picked up from the Goodwill is um, Girl in Translation because I feel like the books that I have in my collection are more like um, murder mysteries, um, sappy romances, and um, 
kind of like sci-fi adventure books. So this one I felt like would be a good um, mixture between like um, something cultural a little bit, kind of like understanding someone else's point of view based on, you know, someone that's coming from a different, mm, how do I say, a different like um, state, I would say. Like, um, I think she's from Hong Kong <coughs> or Taiwan, somewhere from there. But the author herself, Jean, Jean Walk, I, don't, I, won't, I wouldn't think that you would pronounce the K in her name, but Walk, um, she's also, um, yeah, Hong Kong. So Jean um, Walk was born in Hong Kong and is a child immigrated in um, Brooklyn, this is the author, where she worked with her family at a sweatshop and she received her bachelor's degree from Harvard and completed a MFA in fiction at Columbia. So that's the author's background. She is from Hong Kong, immigrated to Brook Brook Brooklyn. So this is, um, I feel like this is kind of what this book is going to be about is um, a young girl with her family coming from a totally like overseas state coming to the United States because I did read that they're coming, um, they're going to New York City and they do work at a sweatshop and this girl, the thing that she, she doesn't have any talent other than going to school so she's super book smart. And um, she plans on incorporating her smartness to kind of like make a better life for her and her mother. So again, um, these books are going to be the books that I'm going to be reading in January of 2020. And this is a completely different type of vibe, different type of genre. It's going to just give a different type of feel overall based on the books that I've already um, pointed out. And... Um, that is it for the five books that I have chosen to read in the month of January for 2020. And I am hoping to um, upload another video of book reviews after I have already read the books. Hopefully I do a better job of, you know, explaining the books that I have read other than kind of like getting the gifs of like what the book would be about before reading it. You know, I don't, I don't watch many other book review videos. So since this is my first one, that's hopefully it's, it's gonna get better guys it's, it's gonna get better so i hope you guys have a great new year i hope your new year's revolution resolutions are going to be met by the end of this year come 2021 as i'm already kind of skipping over a year and i hope you guys have a great night evening morning whatever time it is for you there it's two o'clock in the morning here and i really shouldn't be shouting because people in my house are asleep so again happy new year and good night from over here